Suj Knight, the former CEO of Death Row Records, has shocked the world by revealing that he was behind the death of rapper Eazy-E. In a stunning confession, Knight admitted to orchestrating the murder of the NWA co-founder, who passed away in 1995 from complications related to AIDS. Knight's revelation has sent shockwaves through the music industry and the hip-hop community. For years, there have been rumors and conspiracy theories surrounding Eazy-E's untimely death with many speculating that foul play was involved. Now, with Knight's admission, those suspicions have been confirmed. In his confession, Knight claimed that he had Eazy E injected with the HIV virus as a form of retaliation for a business dispute. This shocking revelation has shed new light on the circumstances surrounding Eazy E's death and has raised serious questions about the lengths to which individuals in the music industry will go to settle scores. The confession has also sparked outrage and calls for justice from Easy es family, friends, and fans. Many are demanding a thorough investigation into Knight's claims and are calling for him to be held accountable for his role in the rapper's death. The impact of Knight's confession cannot be overstated. It has not only brought closure to the long-standing mystery surrounding Easy es death, but has also exposed the dark underbelly of the music industry. It serves as a sobering reminder of the power dynamics and rivalries that can exist within the world of hip hop. As the truth continues to come to light, it is crucial that authorities thoroughly investigate Knight's claims and take appropriate action to ensure that justice is served for Eazy E and his loved ones. The hip hop community deserves answers, and those responsible for Eazy E's death must be held accountable.